All right, well, today we get into investigation five, and we're going to start to learn about um, categorical data, um, how to read category tables, and um, what they mean in terms of information that they're asking for us. So um, at the very top of your sheet that you have, um, the sheet that we handed out, you notice that says 28 people were surveyed. It's actually 23, because if you count up the number of people in this survey here, uh, it's 23, not 28. So make sure you make that change at the very top. Cross out 28, write 23. So we're going to read these two-way tables here and make sure you understand how the labels correspond to these survey results. So we have snack preference versus age. And you notice on one side, on the left column here, all the ages are under 30, and they either prefer chips or pretzels. And if you look to the right side table, all those ages are 30 or older, and again, chips or pretzels is their snack preference. So if you look at it, it says labels like preferred chips are blank variables. Well, those are called categorical variables because there are no numbers. Um, there are no numbers. It can't be placed on a graph or a scatter plot, but can be used in the frequency table. So obviously, with a coordinate, you can't graph chips. You can't graph pretzels. If it was a number, you could graph it, but you uh, you just you just can't graph it. It, it makes it makes for a mess. So um, you cannot graph those. Now labels like age is less than 30, those are called numerical variables because that data can be placed on a scatter plot with a trend line. All right. Um, so again, we can show that onto a graph because we have points. Okay. All right, so again, the difference between the two categories, cat, uh, the two c columns, categorical data and numerical data. Okay. So for this next one here, we get to part B. Now that we got kind of a little bit of an understanding, it says make tally marks in the cells of the table to record and count the answers. So if I look at the people who are less than 30 who prefer chips, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So to make nine tally marks, remember when we get to five, we put a line through it. So there's nine. Okay. And now if I want to find the number of people that are um, less than 30 that prefer pretzels, it's one, two, three, and there's four of them. Okay. And then if I go over here to the older 30, 30 or older, how many people prefer chips? Well, that's these top ones right here. One, two, three. So that's the three. And then if I do the pretzels, well, that's these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's your seven. Okay. So that data that appears on this tally mark, we call this raw data. Uh, it's raw because the it's just the numerical results of the tables that we saw up above. Um, so based on the raw data, does it seem like there are three times as many young people under 30 that prefer chips than older people? So basically what we're looking at is this column right here. Okay. So does it seem like there are three times as many young people? Well, yeah, because if you look, the number of people that prefer chips under 30 is nine. The number of people that prefer chips that are over th are 30 and older is three. Well, Nine is three times more than three. So, yeah, you could say that there are three times as many young people with preferred chips as older people from this collection of data that they got. All right. So, for C now, we're going to try to take that raw data and we're going to try to include a column total now. So, if you notice up above, the, the nine comes from right here. The three comes from right here. So, we add that column up. It equals 12, right? When we add that up, it equals 12. All right, and then of course the 4 is here, and the 7 is right here. And when we add that, those up, that equals 11. And then of course when we add across, 9 plus 4 is 13, and 3 plus 7 is 10, and they all total 23. So 23 is the number of people that we surveyed in this in this data. And then, obviously, like the total for 13 means that this is the number of people that we surveyed that were under the age of 30. 10 is the number of people we surveyed that were 30 and above. 
All right. This 12 means it was a total number of people that preferred chips, and 11 were the total number of people that preferred pretzels. So that's what those totals mean. So down below here, uh, here we go. So down below here it says, does this information change your mind that three times as many young people prefer chips than older people? Well, if you look at it, again, out of the total number of people who preferred chips, nine of them were under 30, right? So for the people that were the age that was less than 30, that was nine out of 12 people, which is 75%, right? If I take nine divided by 12, it's 0.75. And then when I multiply it by 100, that's 75%. And then the number of people that were 30 or above was 3 out of 12, which is 25%. So does this table change our mind that three times as many people? Um, no, it shouldn't because 25% is three times less than, or say 75% is three times more than 25%. So no, this shouldn't change our mind at all. Um, the data still shows, because again, all it is, we added totals. The data didn't change, so it doesn't change our mind at all. But now watch what happens when we go to something called relative frequencies. Our uh, frequency table deals more with um, something that we call percentages. There we go. So relative frequencies are percentages of that category or the total population that tell you what portion of the total population responded in a certain way. So now instead of dealing with numbers, we're dealing with the portions of it. So how we can take that same information is to do this, all right? We know that nine people from the age of 30, right, preferred chips, below 30. And how many people total were there out of the age of less than 30? 13, right? So nine out of 13, so of that portion of the population, nine out of 13 young people preferred the chips. Well, that's 69%. When you take 9 divided by 13 and multiply it by 100, rounding to the nearest percent, it's 69%, which means 4 out of the 13 people preferred pretzels. Okay, And when you divide that, 4 into 13 is 30.7. We round it to the nearest percent, it's 31%. So notice how these 69% and the 31% still give us our 100%. Okay, It's very important that we hit that total. All right, so now... If we do the same thing with the other column, three people preferred chips out of the 10 that we surveyed for the people that were 30 or above. And seven out of 10 preferred the pretzels. So again, 70 and 30 is still our 100% over here. But now let me ask you this, all right? If, is it still, it says compare the relative frequencies for the people who are th under 30 just in that category, and preferred chips, with its people that are over 30 and preferred chips. Well, now, as in before, the first two tables show that there was three times as many. Well, now there's not, right? Because if you take 69%, 69%, okay, um, is not three times more than 30%. It's a little more than double. All right, so if we were to take three times as many percent, that percentage would have had to been 90, and it's not. So compared to the percentages, the numerical data that's right here, compared to the category stuff, which is up above, we really don't have, it's not the same data, is it? Because we're taking portions of the total population, okay? So that part here is a little different. All right, so it says here, Read one page, page 113 in your textbook. And 113, again, just talks about what we've talked about with the categorical uh, data. But we're going to go to this table that's on page 114. And instead of copying, I'm going to have it right here. So here's that table. So if you look, again, this is people that, um, it says, a, to plan a news and park, a team of coaster designers asked people if they preferred steel, wood or steel roller coaster frames. Um, so this table shows that group, all right? So obviously the number of people who they surveyed that preferred wood were 60. This is 80. And if we add a cross, that's 105. And this is 35. So 
we'll kind of keep this for later in case we need it. So, But they ask us on page 114 to answer these five questions in Part A. So the first one says, young riders are three times as more likely, or three times as likely as older riders to prefer wooden frame roller coasters. So if you look at the younger riders, which is right here, right, 45. So in A number one, okay, that's 45 out of a, how many total people under 40, 40 or under, do they, do they interview? They interviewed 105. So that number here is, let's see here. If we divide both these by 15, we get three sevens. And that comes out to like 43%. And if you do the older riders, all right, if we do the older riders, that's 15 out of 35 total that they surveyed, right? So again, if we divide both by five here, these are three sevens. So it actually ends up being the same. So that can't be three times as many, right? I mean, it's the same percentages. And it's the same fraction. So this is false for the first one. All right, so for A number two, it says younger riders are three times as likely as older riders to prefer steel frame roller coasters. So if we go to the steel, okay, 60 out of the 105, okay, um, and I think we can put 15 into both of these again. That's seven, and this is four, which gives us about 57%. And the other one is 20 out of 35 for the older ones, for the steel. And again, if we do both by 5, that's 4 sevenths again. So it says here, 3 times more likely. Well, again, it's the same fraction. Even though 20 is 3 times less than 60, when you look at the overall group, it's the same percentage because it's a smaller portion. Okay? So, that, But it's the same percentage. So that's false. It ain't working. Okay, and remember when they're talking about younger riders, they're talking about all of them. So, again, got to watch how it's worded. But uh, it's definitely they're trying to skew the data because they're taking, obviously 105 is way more than 35. So you got to look at the sample size. All right, so for number three, it says the number of riders who prefer wood frame roller coasters. It's about three quarters of the number who prefer steel frame. Well, how many people prefer the wood frame roller coaster? Well, there's 45 young people and 15 older. That gives you a total of 60. And the steel, you have a total of 80. Well, if I take 60 as a ratio to 80, that's 3 fourths. I divide both these by 20. And isn't 3 fourths 75%? So, yeah, 3 quarters. So 60 is about 3 quarters of 80. So... Obviously, there are more people who prefer the steel, but three quarters of them are. To, to, if you compare the two, it's three quarters. So that is a true statement. So we finally have a true statement after having two false statements. All right, number four. I'll kind of go over here because we're going to start to lose our graph. Number four says that the young riders are more likely than older riders to prefer steel frame roller coasters. Well, if you look at your total here, the total number of younger riders that prefer steel frame coasters are 60 out of the whole, right? And we've already done this work. 60 and 105 out of the whole is, is four sevenths. And the older riders, it's 20 out of 35, right? Which is four sevenths again. So it's the same fraction, which means it's the same percentage. So that's false. They're not more likely to. Okay? It just seems like it is because there's more numbers of the younger kids they surveyed. All right? For, for you to actually get this to answer that question like you think it was, you'd almost need the same number just to make it work. But it's not. Again, they're trying to skew the data. So they're not more likely to because they have the same percentage, the same ratio. Are you more likely to see more younger people on it? Well, sure, because there's more of them. All right? And then A5 says, the last question, older riders are more likely than younger riders to prefer the wood frame roller coasters. Well, again, we did that work in number A number one, right? 45 out of 100 were the younger people. And again, that was 43% of them. 
and 15 out of 35 people, which ended up being 43% of them. So no, the older riders aren't more likely to prefer the wooden frame because it's the same number. It's the same ratio and percentages. So no, they're not more likely to. They're about equal, okay? So they're about equal. So that's how we can use these tables to kind of read our graphs. So the homework assignment for tonight, for this section, is this right here. All right? So you can go ahead and pause that and write it down, and we're going to stop the video and hope you found it helpful.